Matt here. Welcome to the first video of our DIY series. In this episode, I show you how to make a track cutter. We will start with a 12 inch piece of tubing that gets cut into four 3 inch pieces. The miter saw makes quick work of aluminum, but a hacksaw or sawzall will also work. After all four pieces are cut, I take them to the lathe for finishing work. The ends are turned and faced on both sides, then bored to fit the half inch 10 Acme screw that I bought from McMaster Car. The motor mount is straightforward. I printed out the downloadable drawing from McMaster car. Cut out the print and use spray adhesive to attach it to a scrap piece of quarter inch thick aluminum. On the mill I cut out a slot where the motor drive shaft will pass through. A slot is not necessary, a hole would have done just fine. After the slot was cut, I moved over to the drill press for the mounting holes. The holes are clearance fit and can be put in quickly and easily on the drill press. A little bit of acetone takes the print right off. The motor needs to be joined to the acne screw with a coupler. We will make that with this scrap piece of aluminum. I had to turn down the diameter in order to reduce interference with the extrusion beam. The bore of the coupler needs to be made for two different shaft sizes, and the bulk of the work was done by stepping up the drill bits.
Then it's cleaned up with the pouring bar and parted on. On the mill, I used a piece of paper and a dowel rod to pick up the edge of my coupler and then move the machine to center. With a quarter inch end mill, I made flat spots for drilling and tapping a 1032 thread. I used the mill to do the tapping while I had the part set up. This ensures a straight tap in each hole. It's time to make the cart for my torch. I started by assembling the roller wheels to the extrusion mounts. This quarter inch scrap plate will be cut down to size and milled with mounting slots for adjustment. The play is set with a slide ruler. I will use this slide ruler to relocate the part each time I flip it to make each slot. The slots are clearance for quarter 20 bolts. I test assemble to see how it works and make any adjustments as needed. The Acme nut and mounting flange are needed to connect the cart to the screw. The pieces get welded together and then they're attached to the screw. The car is positioned over the nut and mount, and a mark is made for reference. The car is disassembled, and in the center of the plate is found. On the drill press, I drill a clearance hole for a quarter 20 and reassemble the car.
The cart and nut are attached together and we can use a power drill to test it out. It works pretty good. The drive motor is attached and the set screw is tightened. Mounting my torch was easy. It has two mix pipes that I was able to pass bolts between to hold the torch in place. The feet for the track were made with magnets and a bolt that was mounted to the bottom of some 1x1 extrusion. The extrusion had a quarter 20 tapped bottom and was bolted to the rail with a 90 degree bracket and this gave me two directions of adjustment. The magnets will attach to the plate I'm going to cut or a steel work table for trimming and parting off of thick plates. Let's make some cuts. Set the track up by measuring the feet. Set the feet at the same distance from the edge for straight cuts. Setting the feet at different lengths will give you an angled cut. A pole rod holds the handle open while a rubber band is used to activate the oxygen. Tighten the set screw Turn on the torch and set the flame correctly. Let the puddle form under the torch and pull the rod out from the oxygen handle and turn on the drive motor. Keep water on your plate to prevent warping and especially keep water on the magnets that will fail if they get too hot. The torch works well as a parting off or trimming setup on a steel bench. Use a power drill to reset the torch for your next cut. If you're new to machining and want a first project, here is another video you might like. We also have a beginner series, be sure to check it out at our channel. This track cutter is for helping us make a 24 ton DIY press brake and a link to that video is here. If you like this video, then you might also like our DIY supercar project. We are documenting the construction of that in a separate series and a link to that video is here. If you like this content a lot, subscribe to stay up to date on the progress of our projects. Check us out at our website, and if you want to help make this content, feel free to make a donation through YouTube or our website. Till next time, thanks for watching.